Cassini is one of the most uh, incredible spacecraft I think that I've ever flown. It is the most successful planetary exploration mission ever mounted. The spacecraft is running out of fuel. Earlier this morning, Cassini entered its first uh, grand finale orbit where Cassini is actually now no longer orbiting outside the rings of Saturn. This new orbit trajectory puts the spacecraft in between Saturn's atmosphere and the main ring system, but it does add a lot of risk. So a small particle could actually do a lot of damage because of the velocity that the spacecraft is traveling at. These are just very nice images that have a lot of details of features that we've seen at lower resolutions and look interesting, but now we can really see them in very high detail and try and understand them a lot better. What we saw before as wispy clouds are clearly cirrus, streaky cirrus clouds, and then puffy clouds are clearly convective cumulus clouds. The polar vortex is basically like a hurricane on Earth. At the center of the polar vortex, there's a bright a really small cloud. Uh, that's definitely a surprise to me. The mass of the rings actually holds the key into the origin and the evolution of the ring system to decide whether or not these rings must have formed kind of within the last hundred million years or could have formed billions of years ago when Saturn formed. It's important because whether Saturn actually has a core or not tells us how it was built four and a half billion years ago. How did it form? 